<laughs> All right. That's my job. Yeah. All right. Getting into the set here, we have uh, Skyrie is in pulling out Lucario and uh, Sir Spud on that Gengar. Um, did he use Lucario in Winners Finals? Okay. Uh, at the end. At the end. All right. So we'll see how this goes. Wow. Changes so far. Getting that Bone Rush confirmed. Spud getting his combo, uh, and that's already going to put things in his favor. How long is this combo? It's very, very long. <laughs> if he was on the wall, there's actually a combo that he can pull off where it's intended to time delay. It's it's really Get silly, but wall. it's yeah, it's oh man, it's it's crazy. Ooh, JY. Keep that block up. All right, get him on the wall. Uh, mm. no. All right, so curse is gonna get him. Whoa, All right, whoa. extreme speed, getting some crazy good crit damage. Trying to go for it. Oh my god, the extreme speed not working out in his favor. Not sure what he was trying to go for there. He's got to be careful here, though. That's it. Yep. Spud is on a roll right now. Ooh, all right. Caught on to the CADC tricks. Catches him with the uh, 6YY. Good punish. Take away that synergy. So, you, you know the downward swing in Bone Rush? Yeah. The one, yeah. Um, if he were to shield that, would he also, like, would he be able to grab still? Like, um, or is it no. Only? It's it's safe in the sense that it uh, pushes back mainly. I forget the frame data off my top of my head because it's been a while. But, um, yeah, it pushes you back, so there's not an opportunity to do anything. Okay. Um, but there is a window for you to be able to um, counter in between. So when they go for the Bone Rush and then go for the Slam, right before the Slam, there's a window for you to change into counter if you blocked it. Okay. So, really good burst confirmed there from Sky Raisin, putting things easily in his favor. And he's just what? trying to avoid okay, it. All right. Nice. Land that JX. Tie it up on the rounds here. Get some good momentum. Going for the nugget. Whoa. And the field phase win. Ooh, nice 2 one. I like it. Just testing out the space here. Extreme speed will snag. He's playing really well right now. Wow. Really good grab confirm. Things looking really good for Sky Raisin right now. Ooh, uh, punishable yeah. option, yeah. That's really gonna hurt too because that's gonna leave more synergy for Spud. He just needs to pop. Yeah, he just, yep, okay. Just needed to win field and now he's got the Mega Gengar and that's gonna put on a lot of pressure. To be really, really risky. Oh, oh, that might have done it. That's gonna, oh, nope. He's got an opportunity. He's going to, need to dash through it. Yep. Oh! I did not see that coming. Oh my gosh. That That's some Yu-Gi-Oh! counter, 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 counter play. It's funny. You would never think Lucario, like, like he, he's the one that I started with. You would never think that, like... He would be able to do that. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Lucario's you always solid, would man. think of those. Um, I mean, Chael, Gengar, mm. um, Charizard, like the big characters that do really cool things, and like Lucario is like a fox with a with a, <laughs> with a uh, like. How, what do you call that? A, a mask? A uh, top? I don't know what you call it, but he looks so average and. You would never think that he would be able to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lucario is easily one of the strongest characters in the game, and Mega Lucario is very, very <laughs> unfair. So it's it's a very solid character. Ooh, all right. Caught on to the Hypnosis. Ah, big, big catch by the Astonish. Spud, ooh, not able to continue that combo. It just fell out barely on the JY. Just goes for Hypnosis. Sky Raisin, I think, is really catching on to Spud's Hypnosis attempts. So is that all timing? Like, do you really have to know? It's more of a read. Um, 
there is a bit of a delay to hypnosis. Um, that you just have to have godlike reaction to do it in, you know, like that. But like, if he thinks a hypnosis is coming, coming, um, hypnosis can't catch someone in air, so you just easily jump. Okay. But in a really good spot this round. All right, catch the homing attack. That's gonna take it. It's gonna put him in a really good spot meter-wise on uh, the next round. Ooh. Nice spacing. Yeah, really, really nice spacing. But he's still gonna win the field. Uh, it's really just gonna kind of keep Mega Lucario in check. That was weird in the cancel. He just kind of popped up there. I wonder if that threw him off too, or if he intended for that to happen. Ooh, okay, nice, nice, nice. really nice counterplay there. Wow. Oh, and catches him with the. Uh, Do you have to uh, hold focus that blast. in order to? Uh, focus blast. It doesn't look like he did a charge. There is a charge version of it that does more damage, um, but probably to land that combo. You got to do the real quick one. Oh, so. and that's gonna tie it up here. Sky Raisin snagging the second round. Of game two. Yeah, forward X not gonna beat out a Shadow Ball. Yeah, that's punishable. I know that after using that so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Josh was always like, "No, don't use it. Don't." Yes, but changing up his game plan, and it's definitely working out a bit. Ooh, oh, oh, nice! Off. He caught the startup frames of extreme speed. Wow, already like health. already down to half. This is going to be a tough spot for him. He does have the burst, but nice. it's going to be really risky to use it. Okay, so he's got Mega Lucario coming out. Maybe Gengar's going to come out as well, so he's got to be really, really careful on when he activates first here. Oh, goes for it. That's not going to hit, though. No. All right, all right. So Mega Gengar's really got an open opportunity to put on the pressure. What? Going for the confirm. That's going to take uh, it. All right, Spud taking game two here of Grand Finals. Back and forth, back and forth, back yeah, forth. thought about changing something, but honestly, this Lucario is doing pretty solid right now, personally. It's hard to say if uh, Machamp's powerhouse would really help much. Because, um, like, he does a lot of damage, sure, but you gotta get the confirms. So. I was just gonna say, like, if he, yeah, he's a powerhouse of a, um, of a character, but only when he can be that way. Exactly. <laughs> it's not like, like Blaziken can easily, you know, blast through Gengar's health, but it's all in getting a hit in. <laughs> Like, that's the toughest part. And especially against one of like the... It's kind of like that with any character. I mean, like, you, well, yeah. you, you've got to get in. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. And it's definitely Gengar's iframes that make this really, really tricky. The being able to, um, you know, disappear and get those iframes to just avoid certain setups uh, completely is really, really good. Oh, my gosh. Sky Reason's getting out of a groove. He's find momentum. I think that might be taking it. Oh. Yep, and that's oh, a perfect. Oh. That was a perfect. Really? Yep. Uh, he had um, just gray health, I'm pretty sure, for uh, the quote-unquote damage that he took. So okay. it's it's still technically a perfect because the opponent never got a hit in. I couldn't see if there was any uh, chip in there because it was only 9 HP. All right, getting a homing confirm, but Spud still getting a, the burst. I'm surprised by that. And caught my Astonish. Ooh, how long it took out of to it. learn that combo yeah. and get it. Right, Mega Lucario almost here. Mega Gengar coming out, though. That's going to be a lot of pressure. Ooh, got caught in the spin to win. Right, Mega Lucario coming out. He did try to see it. You see it. Oh, caught him up on the wall nice. and... 
I'm not sure what's going on with his hurt box, but things are looking weird on the wall. All right, what? he saw the grab coming up into the air, but he's not going to get an opportunity for this burst. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, the shadow ball definitely covered uh, meaty frames, Whoa. so... Uh, extreme speed got him out of that situation because it, it's a reversal option. Uh, Gengar's health went down and he didn't even. Oh, all right. Why would he do that? I don't know. Counterattack. Working out for Sir Spud. Taking game three. We're going to move into game four here. See if Spud's going to run away with the bracket or if Sky Racing can turn this around somehow. You need any How much do they uh, first place today is getting $120, um, second place is getting 60 and then third place will be getting 30 so... And first place also gets a medal. Yeah. A medal. Provided by Midwest Esports. Oh. Alright, so Sky Raisin switching up to Machamp, going for his main here. Let's see if he can get any uh, different momentum started. Karate Chop gonna win him field. Oh, oh! I, okay. I had no idea that uh, that kick was going to beat out uh, Butt Bomb, but okay. All right, get some good damage, throw him into the corner. He's gotta be real careful what options he does. Gets caught by the Astonish, they're back to mid. Going for the frog setup. Ooh, Ooh, still caught him, but unfortunately not able to get anything off of it. Oh. All right, Spud getting a good combo here. Yep, a lot of damage. Right, get that church shadow ball out of here. Smack that. Oh, nice! I did not expect that to reach. Get a lot of health back from that. Well, it's four arms. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, still didn't catch him. Okay. What? Foot in the face. <laughs> Drop kicks are always hype, people. Okay. There's never not an opportunity where a confirmed drop kick is not hype. Double negatives, I don't care. Alright. He's like, do I go in? Do I go in? No, I don't. Yeah, he's, he's definitely playing it safe right now because uh, Charged Shadow Ball is very, very difficult to get around for some folks. He has the advantage of having uh, Karate Chop, but I know I've been walled out pretty darn good um, by just a Charged Shadow Ball setup um, as Blaziken. Because not. Charged Shadow Ball is like one of the strongest uh, projectiles out there, so not a whole lot of stuff can get past it. Skyrim's um, shielding is going really well. I mean, like his it's defensive hard, play. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He times it well. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure. All right. A lot of clashing oh. here. The reset not gonna work out. And we do have Mega Machamp, which doesn't technically exist, but I'm gonna still call it Mega. All right. Mega Gengar coming out. Ah, uh, that's not gonna. Go well? Question mark. Okay. Things things are okay right now. Okay. <laughs> things are. Things are definitely okay, but a lot of spaghetti. What is happening? He's just getting like tornado in the air. Ah. Uh, okay. One more opportunity here to somehow do 391 damage. Good luck. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. There's really not much of an opportunity for him to do here. Frogadier. Frogadier, go! <laughs> All right, Spud Take winning that one. <laughs> so because he won by timeout, Spud does not get a um, uh, like a cheer support. Um, so Sky Racing okay. gets the advantage a little bit there by having early access to his support. That is. Uh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, okay. It was not a crit. Surprisingly, he was blue, but it was not a crit. So, so it caught like one of the vulnerable frames. Because um, Gengar can like disappear in the air um just if you catch him um like he called frog deer and that didn't work because he was in the air and he was um disappearing is that why it worked? um yeah and I, I forget what exactly was happening at that moment but the time was gonna not really win him any sort of health percentage lead anyway uh spud had a massive lead there 
So, it's about doing a great job on turning this around from the uh, disadvantage he was in earlier in this round. All it takes is one confirmed from a Machamp and, like, oops. So, let's see here. Things are definitely closer. Spud's definitely just trying to wall him out. Oh! Got him! Alright, that really could have gone either way there, but Spud is going to take it 3-1 today and win guard break 14.